Joining us now, the man who usually sits here at 7 p.m., Jesse Waters, host of Jesse Waters Primetime, co-host of The Five. We should point out that these chairs are a little higher. You are taller than me. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> I was lowered by someone, and I'm I not okay to, with that. I wanted to make sure you... <laughs> okay, were, thank you. What do you think, this election night? Well, all I have are anecdotes, and they're positive anecdotes. And I saw Miami-Dade go red, and that's a pretty big deal. I think that's a Very pretty big, big deal. And Hemmer told me that if you get two of the three of the Virginia House races go Republican, we're looking at a wave. And if you get three of the three Republican, you're looking at a tsunami. So we're looking at that. And despite the Maricopa County shenanigans or incompetence, we don't know what it is at this point, I'm still hearing positive things about Republican turnout there. And I'm hearing very positive anecdotes from Nevada. Am I saying that correctly, Mr. Rove, Nevada? I think I am. Yes. So I had predicted on the five and on Jesse Waters primetime, 53, maybe 54 if Republicans get New Hampshire. You know, Rove was a little bit more, it's kind of a bedwetter, they call him. So he was only <laughs> oh, saying oh, 51. Oh. Uh, but the anecdotes that I'm seeing uh, and, and the early data shows me that we're looking at 53, possible 54 in the Senate and maybe get up to as high as 240 plus House seats. We don't really need any of this data. You're here. <laughs> we, we have nothing to do. I mean, do we have anything else? What else do we have, Hammer? So here, here's a little uh, piece of information from Nevada which is how we say it. Uh, Governor Sisolak's office just announced the early closure of state offices in northern Nevada because of weather, and the state GOP is crying foul on this uh, with a statement below, um, concerned about him taking that action because of this snowstorm. They say it's not snowing that badly, and this is not required. It's not as if they don't have snow in northern Nevada, for God's sake. <laughs> right? Can they handle it? Shut it all down from the governor who's running for office right so now. So you see a paradigm shift. You think the country changes after tonight, depending on what happens. I do. It's going to be a powerful wave election, and it's just based on the economy and crime. It just it goes across every demographic. It's not like you're running on the Trump tax cuts or you're running on Obamacare. I mean, this is something that touches every single American, and they've had it, and they're going to kick the guys out, and we could all see this coming, except for a few people. Uh, who uh, didn't see it coming. And then I think tomorrow the president's going to have to say something. He's going to have to come to the cameras and admit maybe something went wrong, and we'll see if he can own up to it. I, I doubt he will, though. Jesse, what do you think about New York? You're a New Yorker now, um, live not too far from here. What do you expect to happen? Well, I'm actually moving to New Jersey. So, um, <laughs> but I did vote today, and it's a toss-up. Crime's the dominant issue. I saw a lot of Lee Zeldin signs in Long Island. That's his stronghold. But I was recognized a few times in my deep blue Manhattan polling precinct, so I consider that an also positive anecdote. <laughs> but Kathy is a lackluster candidate who just whiffs on crime and points fingers. And if we could get a Republican in the governor's seat in, in Albany here in, in, in New York, you could really turn the city and the state around. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.